Imagine visiting a polling site after a long day at work, then having to wait upwards of five hours just to cast your vote. This is the reality many Americans have to face in order to have their voice heard at the ballot box. Every year, millions of Americans miss out on the chance to vote due to obligations from work, school, or other scheduling conflicts. These missed votes contribute to the politicians that we elect in the fabric of our society at large. To quote Vanita Gupta, there is a need to make voting more accessible, to make it more of a civic duty, to make sure that citizens don't have to choose between um, their job and their ability to cast a ballot are issues that are paramount today more than ever before. I personally struggled to vote in the 2020 presidential election due to obligations from school and my job at Ace Hardware. This helped me understand the difficulty of voting in American society. Furthermore, I have done extensive research on this topic and have a deep understanding of the need to make voting day a national holiday. Election Day should be a national holiday to increase voter turnout, limit voter suppression, and make us more confident in the politicians that we elect. Voting rates in the United States are significantly lower than other developed nations, which leads to a decrease in confidence in our politicians. Um, according to the Pew Research Center, only 14% of Americans, oh, 14% uh, of registered voters in the 2016 presidential election didn't vote due to scheduling conflicts or other obligations. Furthermore, certain polling sites, particularly in minority communities, have lines that can take hours before you can cast a ballot. For instance, in Union City, Georgia, citizens had to wait upwards of five hours just to cast their ballot. This is a serious problem. Um, this is important because Americans that vote are much more likely to have faith in the politicians that they elect, elect in the fabric of our society at large. Now that I've discussed the problem of not making election day a national holiday, I will detail the long history of voter suppression in the United States. The United States has a long history of voter suppression, and our politicians are reluctant to pass measures to increase voting rights. According to the Pew Research Center, 60% of Americans supported making Election Day a national holiday. <clears throat> However, when Congress pre was presented the opportunity with the Election Holiday Act of 2019, they failed to pass it, despite overall support from voters. Um, over the past 50 years, more than 400 anti-voter laws have been introduced in the United States. These laws seek to uh, limit voter rights by um, closing polling sites, uh, limiting mail-in voting, and passing measures to block voting rights. Some argue that making uh, Election Day a national holiday um, increases the already high number of federal holidays and discriminates against working class Americans who wouldn't be able to get the day off. Additionally, some argue that there are better ways to go about uh, this, such as changing state laws to increase voter turnout. However, making election day a national holiday is an important and necessary step in making sure that everybody has the right to vote. Now that I've described um, voter suppression in the United States and the long history of it, um, I will detail how making Election Day a national holiday will increase voter turnout and improve confidence in our politicians. Um, according to the Pew Research Center, only one quarter of Americans uh, would say that politicians in Washington, D.C., quote, do the right thing. Only one quarter of Americans believe that. Um, on the other hand, in Australia, uh, which has a national voting holiday, 90% of their citizens vote in their elections. 
while in the United States, um, only 54% of Americans voted in the 2020 presidential election. This is further proof that an election day holiday is integral to increase voter turnout and in turn uh, improve our confidence in our politicians, which is at an all time low. Uh, additionally, Americans that vote are much more likely to have faith in those politicians. Um, our society cannot improve without the help of everyday Americans. Um, in order to make election day a federal holiday, I ask you to sign this change.org petition and contact your local congressman regarding this measure. In conclusion, voting day in the United States uh, should be made a federal holiday to increase voting rights, um, limit voter suppression, and improve confidence in our politicians. As previously mentioned, the United States has significantly lower voting rates than other developed nations. Many of our voting methods are due to a long history of voter suppression, and passing this measure will um, help fix these problems and, and help prove uh, faith in our elections. Election Day is the ultimate equalizer for people from all walks of life. It is one of the few opportunities that adults of all ages, um, ethnicities, and income levels have a chance to make a significant difference in their society. However, our political system is designed to make it difficult for everyday Americans to vote due to other obligations. By making Election Day a national holiday, people from all walks of life will have a chance to have their voice heard at the ballot box. To quote Peggy Noonan, our political leaders will know our priorities only if we tell them again and again, and if those priorities begin to show up in the polls. By Peggy Noonan. Uh, thank you.